What will happen if one day you happen to meet someone who looks like you? Will you simply think that he is a stranger? Or will you want to know more about him? Maybe he is a lost brother that you don't know. Adam Bell chose the second option to embark on a profound journey where the darkest surprises do not come from the outside, but from the inside. Adam is a history teacher who has a normal life, a stable job, a place to live, and a beautiful relationship. Every day is repetitive, a little monotonous and boring, but nothing to complain about. Until one time, I watched a movie and saw a person who looked exactly like me. In contact with an actor named Anthony Keir, Adam discovered that the other person not only had a face like him, but also had a beard, a beard, hair color, and scars on his body. The beginning of the encounter with excitement and anticipation ends in confusion, even confusion. What happened in NME? How did Adam and Anthony get in touch? What is the meaning of the rings? Why is NME still a worth-watching movie even though it has been released for more than 10 years? Today, we will answer these questions together. If you pay attention to the movie, it's not hard for us to realize that Anthony and Adam are actually two different personalities in one person. They have the same appearance, but their personalities and lives are completely opposite. What is often seen as a person's strength is confidence, initiative, eloquence, hard work, and an elegant family that belongs to Anthony. And Adam is a historical actor who is bored with everything. Adam's life revolves around a cramped apartment. Every day he goes to class like a machine. His relationship with his girlfriend Mary only revolves around sex. The question is, where is the true identity? Where is the created identity? And where is the cause of this multi-personality disorder? In the film, people with personality disorders are often described as arrogant, unpredictable, and even cold-blooded. But in fact, this is a self-defense mechanism against fear. Extreme stress is seen as one of the causes of this disease, and a new personality is created with the purpose of covering up the weakness of the patient, not to harm others. According to this logic, Anthony should be the shield that Adam created to get out of the repetitive life, and the constant sadness is affecting his mental state. Throughout the film, there are a lot of details that point to Adam as the real body and Anthony as the body created to cover his own eyes. For the first time, Adam realizes that Anthony is not when watching the film, but in a dream. When sleeping is when the brain works the most, and the girl realizes that Anthony is because of the alarm clock, not because of seeing directly. Adam lost a lot of effort to find Anthony. On the other hand, Anthony seems to know where Adam is, because he exists in Adam's consciousness. Helen's attitude is a pretty clear hint. When she came to the school to find Adam, her eyes were teary and worried, not surprised because she saw a person who looked exactly like her husband. It is true that seeing a person like her husband is also strange, but it is not to the extent that you have to be so emotional and desperate, unless it is not a person like a person. But she realizes that her husband is living with two different personalities. Tintit Mangting Quitting is in a conversation between Adam and his mother. She says them to her. Summarizing the events known in a reasonable order, the story goes like this. Adam is a historical actor who lives in a high-end apartment with his wife, Helen. He is a person who is afraid of commitment afraid of being controlled, afraid of being stripped of responsibility and morality. She had an affair with Mary when Helen was pregnant as a way to get away from commitment and regain her autonomy. Mary later found a wedding ring in Adam's hand. The two quarreled in the car. The accident happened. Mary died, or at least disappeared from Adam's life. The girl was recovered after six months. During this time, Adam broke up with Anthony's personality to face the reality that the girl was afraid of, and Helen realized her husband's disdain. The person living with her is actor Anthony Day Tin. Like he said, he always takes the initiative to control everything. And Adam? I learned to get away from responsibility and sport so that I could live an employee life aside from sports. All about control. Every dictatorship has one obsession. Autonomous people control their thoughts and consciousness by reducing education, limiting culture, controlling information, controlling personal opinions, and this is a recurring pattern in history. The stories of NME, Noi Sa, Noi Gun are all about the control and being controlled of the main character, Adam, through the depiction of a deep autonomous system in his mind and through the nymphs representing the women in his life. The wife and child are about to give birth, so they take on a big responsibility. 
While the mother can impose her opinion on the child, from small things like eating and drinking to big things like personal thoughts. That's why, right after they meet, we see a giant nymph crawling in the city, showing a tight, comprehensive control, with a heavy pressure from the feeling of being almost dominated. Why do I say the nymphs represent the women? Let's look at the posters set up in the film, with giant women and the city of Tihan at their feet. Think of this scene. Need an imposter? Adam is afraid of women who have the ability to resist and resist and react by conquering them to satisfy his humiliating and controlling feelings. The frustration in Adam's mind is shown through a lot of details and images that refer to the resistance, restriction, and cover-up that are arranged throughout the film as a series of repeated history, narrow spaces, columns that often fall down to cover up the outer space, cracks, and images that are reminiscent of this creature everywhere. They also imply that Adam is always in an unconscious state, sticking out a part of his personality. In NME, the clear distinction between Adam's reality and illusion may not be as important as the realization of the opposite of the two sides. Anthony's outspoken personality is a personality that Adam does not want to admit, expressing his anxiety and anxiety when it comes to his inferior consciousness. The gap between Adam's desire for freedom and commitment to responsibility creates the personality of Anthony, who instead of his personality makes decisions that are not in line with the social norms of society, such as imposing ideologies, making decisions that are coercive in order to control the behavior of others. Adam feels like a child. The lips are trapped between the veins, unable to move, unable to resist. These repeated details are not a loop, but like a spiral staircase. The more you go down, the more you dig deep into the mind. To understand the last paragraph, first look at the suggestion here. This is called Hegel's proof of concept. The concept of nomina is a point of view that meets the counter argument and will conclude to a conclusion. This conclusion becomes a new point of view, meets the corresponding counter argument and will conclude to a new conclusion. The relationship between Adam and Anthony is the same. This is Adam's counter argument. When he disappears, Adam takes over his personality and consciousness. Finally, the story revolves around the opening of the film. This process repeats and continues without ending. Adam accepted Anthony as a part of himself, meaning that Ga was completely independent, no longer waiting for others to replace him to do what he wanted. Ga has overcome the psychological and mental barriers, recognized his strengths and weaknesses, acted with a clear awareness and attitude, knowing what to do and what not to do. Or Ga simply surrendered to his instinct. Alan, did you plan on doing something tonight? NME has clarified Adam's inner darkness about the relationship with women. So, are women the enemies that the film wants to mention? To answer this question, we have to clarify who Adam is fighting with or what. What is the opposite of his personality? Experimentalism does not say that I am selfish, I exist, but interacting with the community is one of the key factors that create a person's personality. The first knowledge we get is through observation, learning from the world around us and observing ourselves, not through self-experience or internal analysis. Because we live with the community, so freedom, equality, tolerance, modesty, responsibility are the good qualities that are encouraged. But anger, worry, fear, cowardice, stupidity are not inferior. They are real characteristics a part of human nature. The deep things we want to get rid of are also things that reflect our freedom of choice. If enemy only focuses on the ugly aspects of human beings, that is to say, no matter how much we have, human beings cannot escape from the hateful nature of love, then there's no reason to watch this film again and again. Hannah Arendt, a political philosopher of Thai origin, famous for her researches on power and totalitarianism, mentions the self-determination of each person in the film, conditions to be human, as follows. No one is born good-looking or ugly. No one can know in front of a human being when he is born, how he will act, how he will think when he grows up because human beings can change the environment around us and do whatever we want. Ideas can cover our eyes, can find ways to force us, but human beings can completely break that chain because in our mind, human beings are free. In NME, the yellow tone of the space and the high resolution frames have brought us to Adam's mind and made us feel the tension of the main character. In the film, there are also many scenes where Adam moves from light to dark, maybe to change his role or maybe those dark areas show the weakness of a human being. In fact, Adam may still be a thoughtful, patient, and caring person, but his good heart contradicts his cowardly fear and is trampled under many layers of instinctive humiliation. All great historical events happen twice. The first time is a tragedy. The second time is a cruel game. In the end, Gia still feels that she has to overcome herself to live with those beautiful qualities. Adam's only enemy is Gia. Famous for his many unique works, full of human elements, 
Denis Villeneuve does not hesitate to immerse himself in the depths of his mind and soul. He often chooses to describe the chaos of the outside world to reflect the conflicts inside. Therefore, his themes are easy to overcome the familiar corners to touch the dark corners of the human mind, the sides that we always try to control or easily ignore or deliberately avoid. The story of Enemy is not surprising, but the film successfully portrays a character full of suspense, cunning, putting the audience into complex and confusing circles, often provoking our curiosity with the images and images throughout the film. The close combination of the sound and the vague details of each other, but well-arranged and well-intentioned, creating a deep and full story, filling the characters and the audience to create a complete portrait of the nature of a human being. May the force be with you. I'm gonna make him an offer again. Play as time goes by. Hasta la vista, baby.